Hi, I'm Ashley. I'm from Shred News, and I'm here with Story of the Year. Um, do you guys want to start off by introducing yourselves and what you do in the band? I'm Josh, and I play the drums. I'm Dan. I play the microphone. <laughs> I play it well. Um, is there a story behind your guys' band name? Um, Slightly. Yeah, kind of. I mean, uh, it's not real exciting. It was a, a song title in our previous band called Big Blue Monkey which was the worst band name ever. But yeah, we had a song called Story of the Year, and then we wanted to keep it kind of similar with some of the fans that we already had, you know, in the past, so we went with that. Very cool. Nothing too exciting. Um, how'd you guys get started playing together? Um, me, Ryan, and Dan all went to school together and skateboarded together, and uh, in the mid 90s yeah <laughs> i was in a band with ryan and like a long time ago and uh in the mid 90s in the mid 90s we were we were an emo band before emo was emo they were real emo yeah. like sunny day real estate OG emo. Emo. Oh. and my band opened for their band yeah. at my first show ever mm -hmm. and i was in a band with ryan's little brother so from there it evolved into dan and ryan playing together in a band that band becoming Big Blue Monkey, me not doing anything. <laughs> and then we call him and say, dude, come on, start playing the drums again. We like you better than me. I was the drummer then. <laughs> so that got all switched around. Adam was in the band with, he was in Big Blue Monkey with them before I was. Then Phil came later on. Stole him from his band. Yeah. We're all from St. Louis. Bunch yeah. of local bands and just hanging out, you know. Eventually we got the right lineup and it worked out. Very cool. Mm -hmm. um, what are some of your musical influences? Um, anything that's cool. <laughs> we only like cool music. Yeah. No, uh, we're, we all like a lot of 90s music, really. Uh, all across the board from, you know, 90s grunge stuff like Pearl Jam and Nirvana and all that good stuff. To a lot of '90s punk stuff, you know, Bad Religion, No Effects, Rancid. That's me. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, Josh likes Menudo. Menudo and the Jackson Five, <laughs> and no, uh, you know, Deftones, Smashing Pumpkins, and um, I like a lot of rap. Um, we have been influenced more lately by rap than anything because we're so sick of all music pretty much yeah in our you know in, after years and years of touring but yeah before the show usually we listen to outcast and uh jay-z jay -Z, and... you know just it's the only we listen to anything that's completely opposite of what we're doing right yeah. just because it's more inspiring and awesome. makes you a little happier now but yeah we got a wide range of influences um, you guys just released a new song recently, and new album, any hints about that, or? Yes. There is one. The album is done, the new album is complete, the song on MySpace, To The Burial, which we were probably playing tonight, we've Play, been playing it on this tour. Um, yeah, that was just a, a good track that we wanted to get out first, to get people excited, and uh, yeah, we haven't actually announced the record and the release date and everything, but it's uh, called The Constant. I'm just going to talk about it now because I don't care anymore. It's already out. And uh, it should be out in February, I assume. That is the plan. And yeah, it's pretty awesome. It's, it's really, really good. <laughs> we like it. We, as band members, like it, and that's a good thing. That's awesome. So we think that you guys will like it, too. We'll see. Um, how do you guys go about the songwriting process? Um, I depends. write everything with an oboe. And Josh transcribes everything through oboe. Um, usually it starts with guitar, you know, Ryan usually will come up with some riffs or something. This record was a little different, um, the new record, getting ready to come out, because we wrote uh, the majority of it as a band, like all together, you know. Right. I mean, still a lot of it started with, uh, you know, Ryan playing something on guitar, and then a lot of times we just all work it out together in a room. Which in the past, a lot of times would be like a full demo, like Ryan would make a full demo and then we would just kind of learn it and change a couple things. But this time, yeah, we did a lot more writing together. And uh, usually uh, lyrics and melodies come last, you know. Mm -hmm. Lyrics always like completely last, because I'm slow. 
I'll get an idea of what I want to sing, and then we'll play it a whole lot, and then yeah, I write lyrics later on. But yeah, that's usually how, how it works. Um, so it's pretty early in the tour, but what are you guys most excited about for this tour? Actually touring. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we've been home for like three months or something now, so. We haven't done like a club tour in the States since like yeah. early 07, so it's kind of like. It's been a long time. Well, we did a little bit in 08, but it was like a month and we didn't play in yeah, any of these okay. cities that we're playing on this tour. So. Yeah, we haven't toured here in a long time, so we're really excited just to actually be out playing right. shows in the States again. Yeah. yeah, the first few shows have been awesome. All That Remains just came out last night, and uh, they like to party, so <laughs> it's going to be good. Devil Wears Prada are really cool dudes. We haven't got to hang out much yet, though, so yeah. we'll see. It's like the fifth show, I guess, fourth or fifth. There's always like a, a, a week of like... I don't want to say awkward awkwardness, but like with the other bands, you just kind of go, hey, what's going on? I don't really know you yet, but hey. And, and <laughs> about two weeks in is when everybody starts really hanging out. And then like the last few days of the tour, you're like, man, you guys are awesome. But We're now, leaving. Hey, I'll see you next time we tour. Yeah. <laughs> uh, do you guys have a favorite song to play live? <sighs> I think my favorite song to play live is Falling Down. Mm. I don't know why. Yeah, Falling Down's fun, off the first record. Um, right now we're playing that one new song, To The Burial. That's fun for now, just because it's new, but... Yeah, yeah I don't know. I like The Antidote a lot, which we've been opening with lately. That's a fun one, just because it's kind of a good mix. It's kind of heavy, it's not like super heavy, I don't have to scream real hard the whole time. Some songs just make me too tired, and I'm just like, oh my god, I hate that song. <laughs> I don't know, I like anything that the crowd's into, you know, Till the Day I Die is still fun to play just because the crowd loves that song, and that's always fun. Anytime people are excited and singing along, okay. it's pretty sweet. <laughs> if you guys weren't musicians, what do you think you'd be doing? <sighs> wow. <laughs> we used to have good answers for this because we weren't like eight years into just touring. Yeah. Um, Cause we, used to, we, we were both delivering pizzas before this happened, so... You know, hopefully that wouldn't still be happening, but yeah, maybe. I, would, I would imagine, I would, I'd be honest with you, I don't know. I was going to school for, like, computer graphics, but I don't know that I'd still want to do that. I'd probably be, like, a mechanic or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I used to skateboard a lot, but I wasn't good enough at that to be able to do that professionally. I'd, so. I'd have some kind of trade job. <laughs> yeah, we'd. Uh, I would be playing music either way, somehow, but, yeah. I don't know, that would be weird. Yeah. You just kind of go with it. You go with the flow. And, <laughs> and when it works out, you go, sweet. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you, don't, you don't look back, you know? You just go. You, we're riding it out as long as we can. We don't have other plans. Right. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to add for fans? or? Um. Yeah, new record sometime early February. Early, early next year, February. And uh, we'll be on tour for the whole year, I'm sure. To the Burial is available on iTunes December 1st. Good call. That's in uh, shortly, like a week. Mm -hmm. so yeah, right. come back and see us anytime. Awesome. Thank you guys so uh, much. Thank you. No